Damian Lillard led his team with 34 points in Game 3, but couldn't get the win for Portland, who now finds themselves down 2-1 to the Lakers. Dame had seven points in the fourth quarter, but was one for six from the floor and missed all four of his three-point attempts. And after the game, he said it just wasn't the Blazers' night to make shots. So, Shannon, what happened to Dame time? Well, Dame was Dame. Skip, I think the thing is, is that as you become a, a, a more elevated player in this league, the expectations greatly increase. And because Dame has thrust himself into the superstar stratosphere, there's more expected of him. And when things don't go well, he knows. When things didn't go well with the Bulls, they lost, they go to Mike, Mike what happened? Was, when the late, when the uh, Lakers, when the uh, mm -hmm. um, Celtics, it was buried. The Magic, it's the same thing. And so that's where Dame is now, Skip. When they don't win, they're going to ask Dame, what happened? Dame, what, you know, even though he might score 40, if he didn't get those, if he doesn't score 12, 15 points in the fourth quarter, people are asking the questions, well, Dame, what happened to you? Well, he had 27 through three quarters, which kept them in the ball game. Mm -hmm. Because just when you thought, the oh, man, Lakers about to get a surge here, here come Dame hitting timely threes, off-balance threes, and he was getting, he's still trying to be aggressive. Skip, for Dame Lillard to be six foot, six foot one, and to say, you know what, I'm going to turn the corner, and I'm going down, and I'm going to flush, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get my bench involved in this ball game, mm -hmm. let you know his mindset. Like, he is not afraid of Jack. Mm -hmm. For him to even think he could even do it, let alone attempt it, to even th the thought process. Mm -hmm. And had Anthony Davis not been at AD who he is, that could have turned the game around and got the uh, got the uh, uh, the Blazers back into this ball game and really mm -hmm. gave them a surge that they needed. Mm -hmm. But Dame is fine. I don't worry about Dame. Mm -hmm. Dame Lillard is going to do Dame Lillard. You, you, you don't worry about him because you're a Laker fan. No, 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 no. Dame is going to get you 35. But he, he CJ, you know, CJ got off good. And CJ cooled in the middle. Why they, they need to go simultaneous. Mm. They're going to need to, they're gonna be, need to be somewhere, Skip Brown, probably 65, 70 points between the two of them to beat the Lakers. So I need to reset my watch because now you're explaining to me that Dame time is actually first through third quarter time. Dame time is all the time. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a stopwatch. You just keep running. Just keep going. Well, while LeBron was mean mugging it, <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I got you, Dame. Dame was going one for six and 0 for four from three. And I'm, I'm like, I, I don't know. I just need to see Dame time. I, I Just show me one where you just say, I got this. Well, I you, take over this game. You saw it in game one when he huh. was getting done with it. He, yeah. was up back, he was back there dancing. Yeah, he made three threes okay. in the middle of the quarter. Okay. And then he didn't take it home because, remember, Mello and Gary Trent Jr. Yes. took it home with the two biggest threes that closed the door on your Lakers. Yeah. Who were up six with seven minutes left? I don't know what happened. Maybe it's not LeBron time. I I don't know whose time it is. It's always. But I keep waiting. I keep telling everybody. Last year against no KD, Golden State, four straight fourth quarters, he had all kinds of opportunities to take the game over against Steph and Clay. It's a it's a 50-50. I got CJ. I'm a superstar, and CJ can can be a superstar every once in a while for stretches, and. He shot 29% from three in those four fourth quarters and in overtime and 31% from the field. And he's doing it again against your Lakers. 31% from the, the floor, 33% so far from three. But maybe tonight's the night. Maybe the next night will be the night. He's got two more opportunities to show me Dame time. Come up big. You say he's special. Yeah. I haven't seen special in fourth quarters. Yeah, yeah. But you've mm. seen special throughout the entirety of the game. Mm. Skip, we got to see, you, you pinpoint it, and then when he comes up big in the fourth quarter, you say, well, he should have come up big because he didn't do anything in the first three quarters, mm. and he was the reason they were in the hole mm. in the fourth quarter. Mm. So you know, I, I'm just trying to figure mm. out, I'm just trying I'm to. just trying to find out when Dame time is. You know when Dame time is. It's not in the is. fourth quarter. Yes, it is. It's always his time. Really? He's the reason why the games are even close. Huh. Without Dame going bonkers in the first half, mm. these games would be over at halftime. Mm. Like your team got out the 21-point lead, mm. and what happened? Mm. Without Porzingis. Mm -hmm. where, so where is Kawhi? What, when is Kawhi's time? I'm just waiting for Dame time. It's That's Dame all. time. All I'm time. waiting for him to wave bye to the Lakers, but and maybe he could. You could yeah. even it up tonight. Oh, it's the eight seed. Okay. Really? Well, you told me it's the most dangerous eight seed in it's the history the, of the playoffs. Still, it's still an eight seed. Oh. That's still what they are. Okay. Okay, I get that. Yes, they're dangerous. Mm. We don't normally see eight seeds that have this kind of firepower, especially, well, I mean, you got to go back to Jordan, mm. his rookie year, 
when the 1-8 matchup was Bird, you know, the Celtics versus the Bull, mm -hmm. to find somebody that had a player with this kind of firepower mm. on their roster. Mm. It doesn't happen. So Damian Lillard went a stretch of the equivalent of two straight fourth quarters over the games against Brooklyn and Memphis in game one against the Lakers without scoring a single basket. And I'm saying, is that a superstar? It's a star, but, but I, you, you put a big old caps S-U-P-E-R in front of his name. First of all, let me ask you a question. <laughs> If I make 26 free throws, do I not get 26 points? Mm -hmm. So free throws mm -hmm. are points, right? Sure. So although he's not making five, six, seven field goals, mm -hmm. he's going to the line making six, seven points through the free throw line. Check because you said those are free. Mm -hmm. And so that if he's capitalizing on those, those are points, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You should be very happy you're playing Damian Lillard. That's what you should be happy Why about. am I happy? Because it's not been Dame time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> His moments. Mm. I feel like we have to acknowledge that. Uh, game yes. four tonight, we'll see if Dame can tie it up. Uh, guys, is Paul George, or as Skip likes to say, George Paul, not doing enough to help Kawhi get a second straight title? What is he doing? We explain next. Now we're to the crux of the problem. Yeah. Would I be offended if you call me, I'm going to say it one time just so people know what it is. Just one time. Yeah. Bitch ass white boy. Yes. If you or anybody else call me that, yeah, you got a problem <laughs> yeah. because that's what I'm going to focus and fixate on. Right. The rest of it, like like white boy, it's even out in popular culture. Yeah. There's a movie not too long ago, White Boy Rick, yeah. right? Yeah. There's a song by Foreigner back in the day in the late 70s called Dirty White Boy, and yeah. it was an ode to Elvis Presley, who was a badass white boy. Play that fucking came, music, white boy. There you go. Okay, so, so that's that. But once we get to be a white boy, yeah. now we got a problem. Right. So why... Why was that used by Montrez as he had just scored right. on Luke and he's backing up the right. court? You be a white boy. Yeah. Okay. It was because I believe that Lucas started this on a previous possession. And he dared to, first he tripped up Montrez. <laughs> and then he turned to him and Doc said he cursed. And I couldn't really see it on the tape, but... He accused Montrez Harrell of flopping. He said, told him to stop flopping. Okay, stop flopping, and he either maybe stuck an MF on right. it, or maybe put stop F and flopping or something. I couldn't really tell, right. but, but Doc said he swore. Okay, help me out here. What do we know about Montrez Harrell? He is a beast of a basketball oh, yeah. player. Huge pride, wears his emotions on his sleeve, and he is a man's man. Yes. Well, if you accuse that guy of flopping, have you not questioned his manhood? Wouldn't you yes. take that personally from Luca, even though you respect his game? But, boy, that's kind of the ultimate basketball insult to say, quit flopping. Yeah, but I, I'm really trying to, and I believe I read his lip correctly. I believe he said, stop flopping, man. Okay. Well, I don't, the, I don't Doc said he swore, but whatever. Because, Skip, okay. if he wanted to swear, why would he swear in his native tongue? And Doc would have never knew what the hell he was talking about. He speaks good English. I know he does. And by the way, he has become known as a really good Larry Bird-esque trash yes. talker. And you know what? I love his trash talk. It can go profane. I don't care because it shows me he is not afraid of any especially the black player, the black stars. He's not afraid. He will mix it up. He will trade barbs yeah, with when you. When he hit that shot, what did he do? He turned around, he pumped his chest, he said, this my bleed. Mm -hmm. This my bleed. Okay, good. So we, we have a, what was also his reputation in his rookie year, soft. Yes. You could rough him up. Yes. You could get physical yes. with him and knock him off his game yes. psychologically. Yes. So Montrez is, is angry that he called him out right. for flopping. He said it right to his face. Yes. Quit flopping, man, or whatever he right. called him. And so Montrez comes back down the next time, and he just goes in and hammers the ball home right. over Luca. Right. And so take that is what he's saying, B.A. Right. B -A. right. White boy, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I get it. I, I, Luca started it, and he was finishing it. Is it like the nicest thing in the world to say no? But am I, as a white boy, taking that personally? No. I don't think Luca took it personally. And to Montrez's credit, he went over and apologized to him. And I got to watch it. Did you get to see it on the sideline? I did. Sideline? I did. I, yes. It looks sincere. It's good because, because Trez was backing up, Luca, I don't know, because it was a quiet jam. So mm -hmm. I don't know if Luca actually heard it. I maybe, don't think he did. Maybe he could have because, like I said, Skip, there's no fans. Maybe. Because they're fans, obviously, you're not going to hear. Maybe some of the other Mavericks right, heard it. Right. And so that, that's my only thing. And I get, we got to get out of the, well, in the thing, in, 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 the, uh, in competition, people mm -hmm. say things. Nah, watch your tongue. You know what to say in a competition. Okay. You've been competing for a long time. I competed for a long time. 
And I've said some things when I'm dealing with black on black players. Mm -hmm. But when I'm dealing with white players, I know what's offensive. And I'm not going to use the heat of competition, the heat of battle, okay. to, to throw something out there that says, man, you know, I just got caught up in the moment. No. Okay, I got it. But he was retaliating. Yeah. And in the end, I, I don't. I don't think any white person who understands sports would be offended by that. I don't. I don't consider that a, a racist slur against white people. Yeah, it, it's hard to me to say the equivalent of of, of Lucas saying "Stop flopping, man." Yeah. And, and equating to Trez calling him a beat uh, a mm -hmm. white boy. I don't think that's the equivalent. That's a false equivalence. That's not even comparable. But like I said, Trez apologized, and I think the thing. And for me. For him to take the initiative, because a lot of times, Skip, you get so dug in, I said what I said and I'm not apologizing. But for Trez to be the bigger man, to know he was wrong, that's the first. I was wrong. To go up to him and say, bro, I ain't mean anything by it. I got caught up in the moment. Please accept my apology. Okay, Lucas said he was surprised to even apologize. Yeah. So was he offended? I don't think so, unless he was just it may, putting it, on a... Skip, if somebody were to say, and let's just say I'm playing in Slovenia. Yeah. And somebody says something to me, I might not even know what the equivalent of it is. So I, how am I going to get upset? You might have said something that's offensive. I don't know what it is.